I had an opportunity to interact with the program director of MSc in Business Analytics at the University of Surrey and I have asked him quite a few questions which you ask me as students and which I myself had when I was doing my masters and I've tried to cover most of them I hope you have a better idea of what is expected and if you still have any questions feel free to drop in the comment section and I will reply to them as much as possible before that I'm Mohan if you are watching this channel for the first time please consider subscribing to the channel and also like this video and share it with as many students as possible let's get straight into the video Right now we have got someone very very important with the business analytics course so I better leave it with him to introduce about himself so please introduce yourself thank you Mohan nice to see you it's good to see you again good to see you sir and I'm Dr Colin Fu I'm the program director of MSc business analytics at Surrey Business School of University of Surrey so sir as you know this course has been very 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 demanding at the moment yep uh, so do you <laughs> have something to say about why especially business analytics um, as you know the world now moving into AI era especially now with generative AI coming into play and analytic now is become more and more important now as we see there is a module called business analytic data analytic but I believe in five years ten years time you will not even have this module this will embedded naturally in everything that we do we as you know the first thing that we get up what do we do we check our iPhone right that is the thing. And all this stuff, Facebook, Instagram, all these are depends on analytics. So I always tell my students, no matter how good you do your marketing, how good you are HR personnel, without data, how are you going to measure the performance of an employee? How are you going to measure the performance of any marketing campaign? That's why analytics is very important. But why business analytics? Because for people that are doing business analytics, the main focus is to using the data they have access to to make business decision and help in the future the business people to make that correct decision. Absolutely. So I work as a data analyst and I can't deny with what he says. So, sir, I make YouTube show videos, as yep, you know. Yep. So most of the students ask me a question, do I need a technology background or a coding background? So this question is about what skills they or what prerequisites they need to do before coming for a business analytics master's. Now, if I say you don't need any skill, technical skill, then I lie to you. But because the students are not doing data analytics or data science, like in computer science or engineering. So the technical skill may not be as uh, uh, important as students that are doing data science, data analytics, and engineering and computer science. However, the core of analytics, whether business analytics or data analytics, is statistics and programming. These two are the elements. Obviously, if you do a data analytics in computer science engineering, you need more. But for business analytics, we at least ask students to have a fundamental understanding of the logics, as in, why do I say programming? Because programming, it doesn't matter which language. As long as you can do programming, you understand the logic behind something. And analytics is very important. And statistics, because a lot of concept of analytic, business analytics is based on statistics. If you can have these two, Business analytics should be easy in that case. Yeah, absolutely. And so, <clears throat> what is the connection with our university, with the employers? What's the job prospect after finishing the course? Um, as you know, Surrey is one of the best universities, not only in UK, in the world. I think this year we rank 250 something, 52 and something in the QS World Ranking. And Surrey had been voted the best employment prospect, okay, in the whole UK and especially now, which obviously I know you did your MSC business analytics with us as well, but one thing that you guys did not get, which we now implemented is our course, our MSC business analytics is the only program in the whole UK accredited or endorsed by SAS, which one module, and then IIBA, International Institute of Business Analysis. That is the biggest institute of business analysis in the world. Now with these two organizations behind the program, it means that we, our students, can tap into their employer network. They have a lot of employees, employers in the network that are, rec are, are recruiting students who understand the business process that uh, proposed by IBA and the SaaS software that proposed by SaaS um, Institute. So obviously, 
this tool will help our students to have better work prospect, not only in UK, mostly in North America as well and globally. So just a couple of questions to wrap sure. this up. What is the employability ratio at the moment? Um, now, obviously, it's very hard to say in that sense because as employers, when you recruit students, you not only look at their qualification, but you also look at their work experience. Now, I know there's one student, I always quote her, right? Three years ago now, uh, before she even finished, she got offered a 75K salary, including her family relocated to here. Now, obviously, no, please do not take that as average, all okay, right? I know that, that is person. one of the, that is a very good example. And then recently, there is one student, very good student, been looking for jobs, okay? Uh, jobs for a long time, I think six months, could not find a job, but finally end up as an a investment banker in one of the biggest banks. Uh, I can't remember, I think it's American Bank or something like that, right? Now, see, even though the journey of looking for job is tough, but I believe that is something that's being reserved for her, okay? For the best, and she never regretted. She really loved that job. Now, these tools, are, I personally think, are the best example. But nonetheless, there are some students also end up in some good job like water utility and things like that. Remember, University of Surrey is a good name out there. So if you can do well, Yes, it may take you a bit of time, but you will get a job. Now, especially now with IIBA and SAS endorsing our course, now your prospect is not only restricted in UK. You go to North America, go to Asia, go wherever, because a lot of companies are recruiting students with SAS. Don't believe me, go to job site and look for jobs that require SAS, SAS or IIBA certification. Yeah, thank you, sir. And the last question is, what are five or six job roles that you see after finishing a master's in business analytics? Usually people will end up again doing a visualization consultants, okay, Power BI, Pablo, or doing a data analysts or even business analysts. Some of them doing consultant in analysts and so on and so forth. Now, you can either work in the banking industry or the health industry and any industry that emphasize on data. Our program, our modules are covering either aspect. Now, we have, two, we have three themes. One is slightly more general business analytics. One is slightly more focused on uh, marketing. Another one is slightly more focused on finance. So obviously, these are options. Depends on where you want to go to. So yes, basically, you will end up doing something that to do with data. I can just summarize that there are vast opportunities after you finish your master's in business analytics. You have so many jobs waiting there. It's just the right skills and right website and you just land up in a very good job. So thank you so much for your time, sir. I really appreciate giving us this 10 minutes time. Thank you, and I hope students see this video and register themselves at the school, university. Awesome, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you.